What is going on guys? So we just caught another carpet python in an unlikely spot. A few weeks ago, I got a call from Alan saying that there is a lady in Quinns that believes she has a carpet python. Now, they're not super common in Quinns, but they can be found in Quinns, obviously, because this is another, there's, I found a handful of them in this area. But it is not super common. It's super common for dugite, super common for other snakes, it's not super common for carpet pythons. This lady had one a couple of weeks ago on her balcony. I will show you some videos of the balcony and I will show you why it's so hard that they are making it there and it's very unlikely that she would get two, let alone one. Da, da, da. Look, have a look. Oh, that is a hundred percent a different one. I didn't. Oh, mate. To have two of these guys, completely different. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't believe that. All right, you get out of my sleeve. We'll put you in here. That is nuts. Really? The fact that they'd make it this far, mm. there's no super easy way except for across the balconies. You know, there's you no... could stay warm in my balcony. <laughs> <laughs> that is bloody crazy. There's no real. It's just the fence, and then all the from that fence just there, up onto that balcony, and across to this one, and then across to this one. And then I guess they just like your house. <laughs> so this footpath is apparently closed, because I don't know what they're doing around here. But that may explain why there's a lot of snakes moving out of this area. Huh. Maybe, hey? I wonder why this footpath is closed, because this is where the... Uh... Huh. Fuck it. <laughs> It's not, it's not close enough to keep me out. The gate's out of the way, so we'll have a quick look and um, see. There's not much going on up here. Huh. So this is about where I release the other dude. So not the ideal spot to be releasing another, another one, but we shall do, 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 do. I thought these guys were going to yell at me for going up there. We're going to go find a tree bushy area. Because, uh, yeah, this might be a big walk. As I was saying, it is very unlikely for this lady to get a snake, let alone two snakes. She is on a balcony. There's a slither of a fence connecting their house to a bush. The only way that it can get across there is if it jumps the two first balconies to her third balcony, which is unlikely, especially unlikely to have two. <laughs> this is a walk path. That is the bush that it came out of. That is the beach. How lucky are we? <laughs> There's some people in the world that don't even see the ocean. Picking a spot for these guys to go is super difficult because it is surrounded by houses and you want to put it in the most central spot that you can, but obviously not stacking them on top of each other. Hopefully I won't have too many of these. And hopefully there's just a healthy family of them in here. Well, I managed to walk all the way back to the other side. Um, the house that it came out from is that building there. So behind this one here, came from up there. So it climbs up here up under the fence, crosses the balconies, and hers is the third one there. And this is the bush that they live in. 
not much left here, but it is all that they have left around here. I completely forgot why I got this tripod, so I can uh, not use my hands and have to film at the same time. This is this dude here. He is a very healthy, maybe two-year-old, very pretty snake. He has very pretty eyes. I wish this showed off more. So let's get this guy out here. Put him on this post. All right, let's have a let's have a quick look. Let's not let me forget that container. So he is 100% wild. He's not a pet. Uh, somebody hasn't released him here. This is where he lives, and uh, there's a few of them in here. So we'll put him here and uh, watch him go back to his home. So this is, I'll show you how crazy this is. Because if you were to walk past this <coughs> during the day, how hard is that to spot? These guys are everywhere. You just don't see them. They've spent millions of years of adapting uh, for their best defense. And their, be their best defense is not being seen by anyone. So um, I hope this dude uh, doesn't end up back in houses. And if he does, Maybe he'll find a house that will accept him and he can live happily there because there's not a lot of bush around here. Almost impossible to see this guy. I lost sight of him for a second. Almost completely would not know that he was there even though I know he's there. That is crazy. So hopefully he climbs his way up in there, finds some food to eat, and uh, stays out of harm's way. See you later, dude. Look after yourself. How exciting is that? Now this is, my pants are falling down. Whoa, oh, there's a little Jew guy. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, I missed him, I missed him. Where'd he go? Bugger. Just goes to show that there is life around here, even though it's a uh, very small area of quins and there's very minimal bush. So, there's a lot of reptiles around here, so keep an eye out when you're walking around. Actually, super lucky. This is like <clears throat> maybe six, seven minutes from my house. So, um, <laughs> I don't think it's very special to people that live in Perth because the beach is literally around the corner from everyone even though it's like an hour away from one of my mate's houses it's still pretty bloody close but there is some places in the world that would absolutely die for a view like that and the lady that I caught the snake from has a view like that which is pretty cool I guess it just comes at a price two snakes <laughs> so we had another little call out for a dugout but unfortunately it was gone, so um, we are back in the shed. I've got a little bit left to do in here um, on the roof or on the ceiling, and we've got to s close up the front of the roof there. Sorry about the eye. I got another bloody sty again with chopping down a tree in our backyard, and I got a bunch of wood in my eye, and um, I think maybe that's what set it off. I'm not sure what sets them off, but yeah, we've got the rest of the roof done. Unfortunately, I full messed up the um, I messed up the cut on that wall, so it doesn't look the greatest. But I'm, you know, I'll just I'll fix it up somehow. I'll just get some bigger flash in and put it over it. And um, but yeah, look at the roof. The roof is pretty sick. It looks pretty good. I say it wasn't too bad for our first time. And um, yeah, I gotta go seal up the roof. It's real dark in here now. And then we've got to get the doors on, we've got to clean this out, we've got a few little things to do, and then we've got to paint the floor, and then we've got to sort out lighting, we still haven't got lighting, so there is still heaps more to do, but yeah. But yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here, take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.